smokes. To see if we flip that around, flip that around, flip that around. All right, finally. What a beautiful day today. What a beautiful day today. The old man's carrying the baby. That's a little shaky. All right, let's see if we can get out of here uh, without getting our meat smashed today. Uh, everybody wants to smash the meat, right? Uh, all right, we got a double pick that's being sent here. So we're gonna let this guy go first. Uh, there we go. We had the double smash there. It's not often you see a double pick. What a glorious day. What a glorious day. 71 degrees. How you doing, Brian? Hey, uh, Alan, hello to you. You want to see some? Oh, what did I just sit on here? Seat belt. You want to see something crazy? Look at this. Look at this woman. 
she must have uh, she must have blown out her rear view mirror so she got a regular mirror from like the Dollar Tree <laughs> and she yeah come on she taped it up on <laughs> That's the greatest thing I've seen this year. That is unbelievable, man. <laughs> There's not a car in here that's not smashed up in some way today. I mean, that's... Uh, look at that, man. Look at that. Isn't that cool? That is really wild. They didn't bother cutting the handle off of it. Just took the, put the whole handle in. <laughs> I don't know, Alan. It depends. When you park on the street where I park, people are always smashing people's mirrors off, right? Side swiping or getting too close. That's why the best vehicles have the mirrors that retract in when you park. Hey, Naomi. So check that out, man. That's funny. That's, he didn't bother me putting a Dollar Tree mirror just tape it on his side right there. That's beautiful, man. That's American ingenuity. <laughs> yeah, she took a Dollar Tree. Uh, she took a Dollar Tree mirror and just put it right down. Well, it's nice and warm today. What a beautiful day! Ah, oh, finally we got a good day. We got a good day today. It's a pork fried rice kind of night tonight. Uh, what the beautiful part is she didn't uh, she didn't even cut the handle off the mirror you know to try to even make it look right she just taped the whole freaking mirror right on the thing and she's got one on both sides too that's the real hoot <laughs> I love this country man I love this we're turning into a nation of hillbillies I love it I love it, I love it, I love it. Okay, what are we doing? Are we sitting here? Are we, what are we doing? Are we engaging in centering prayer? What are we doing? Yeah, what is she doing, man? I got a bus here that wants to smash me. If I pull that, she's going to pull me. All right, here we go. She's rolling. She's rolling. Oh, man. Barely. Come on, honey. You can do it. You can make the turn. There you go. How is your meat? Ah, uh, run into them. Yeah, sometimes, uh, sometimes it's tempting, you know. Tonight we're going to do a little, I've got those, anybody remember I cooked those ribs up? I've got to cut that rib meat off tonight. And i got to make a um, pork fried rice tonight, so that should be pretty good. So how's everybody doing tonight? How's your meat? That's the theme of March. What a beautiful day today. I feel like dancing outside. Finally, a nice, beautiful, glorious day. So, uh, Alan and Naomi, I'm thinking about uh, next Thursday to pop over. Leave early in the morning and uh, just uh, maybe have breakfast in Oakdale and then uh, look around a little bit. If I don't get away early, I get all caught up in the uh, I get all caught up in the traffic. So I'm thinking like maybe next Thursday might be nice to give a little pre-planning. The weather looks like it's going to be. Good. I don't see any big issues. This is the first time we've had some high pressure build in here in a while. So please tap the like button if you're coming in. It's very appreciated. I think next Thursday would be a grand to check in with Naomi. See if 
that baby girl can make it. Yeah, well, I try to go back and forth between full screen and vertical. You know, I try to cater to everybody. It's just that, uh, you know, you know, James is saying, why do you need to be with the, what other people are doing? Because it's a trend of things, that's why. You guys got to understand from my from my perspective it looks the same whether I'm vertical or horizontal I only get two lines of chat no matter what I do right the only difference is the size of the uh, frame that uh, shows up yeah and the gimbal works out pretty good you can't put a gimbal on a bike though it's just just a limit to what you'll be able to do and I always I was always curious to see I wonder well, what's it gonna be like if I what it's gonna be like if I take a bike ride and uh, see what that's like it's gorgeous here today it's absolutely spectacular you know it's about time we had a decent day I think uh, let's not get let's not get it twisted by no means is winter over yet but Lord knows we've earned this brief respite so, you know, people will adapt, right? So what I try to do is to do a nice compromise between the two so that we're not all locked in one way and then another. Shouldn't be uh, too bad. Yeah, well, let's check with her. That way we get a little bit of for forward planning here so we can, uh, we can do it up. And, uh, you, could, you know, maybe we can, uh, one of you kind people, we can tour around Oakdale. The problem is I only got a two-seater van here, so I, I can only handle one other person if I'm doing that. Kind of stuff. Maybe somebody can act as a tour guide, because I think people would be interested in, uh, because as I said to you before, as I said to you uh, before, well, Naomi, stop sending me stuff, okay, honey? And then you'll have the money, right? I think uh, between Alan and I, we got it covered. Does the mattress in the back seat have seat belts? It does not. It does not have that. Um, yeah, we got it covered. Now, the, why Oakdale? Because of all the Central Valley exploring that I did... Oakdale was the town that I went through that I never even realized it was going to be there. I never knew what Oakdale was. And when I passed through Oakdale, I had so much regret that I didn't stop in this town because it is so completely cool of a uh, town. It's just an amazing, amazing uh, uh, town. And I loved a lot of stuff about, uh, you know, a lot, loved a lot of stuff about it and thought, man, I'm so regret I already have my, uh, I already have my, um, I don't want to go to a lake, man, look around town, right, see what's going on, I have doctors in the, in the afternoon, work in the morning, uh, in the afternoon, work in the morning. Yeah, well, I was going to get to town like 7.30, 8 o'clock or some, something early like that. And then uh, uh, just hang out for an hour or two and then split and get on my way. Because I'm, you know, I can always, always come back again. But I think the point is meeting you guys and making that commitment that I've made to uh, you to do. There's no mattress in the back. It's just a plywood platform with a sleeping bag on it. Hey, let your light slot shine. This was my uh, this was my boondocking rig for a lot of time. Now we could uh, uh, meant to say it will work in the morning. Okay, that'd be good. Hey Tess, how you doing, babe? Quick hi before heading out. Good to see you. Well, uh, let's do that then. Okay, let's um, let's shoot for uh, shoot for Thursday morning if that's okay. You know, otherwise, if you want it, if Wednesday works a little better I only threw Thursday out because it works slightly better for me um, but you know if, if Wednesday's better for everybody then that's cool uh, if you just pack their taco berry so I don't know I mean uh, you get you get you get the option it's uh, as they uh, used to say on the uh, NFL videos you make the call 
right? Wednesday works better, that's fine. And don't worry about the money, Naomi. Stop sending me, uh, stop sending me goodies in the mail, okay? Uh, that'd be a good starting point. But this, this weather is just spectacular today. My mood's high. Did I go outside today? No, I'm, I'm all buckled down. I'm doing paperwork galore, trying to get this capital campaign launched for the parish hall in uh, Vegas. It's a lot of work getting QR codes, links, and set, getting everything all approved. It's a ton of work. It's an absolute ton of work, drafting brochures and all kinds of stuff. Sonora Inn has good steak dinner. Did I review... Um, so if Wednesday's better, uh, Alan, that's fine. Sonora Inn, I think I ate at Sonora Inn. I don't know. I'm not sure. But, uh, you know, what a beautiful town, right? Beautiful, 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 beautiful. Uh, Sonora is one of the most beautiful places I've seen. Right? And I do, I will make it a point this year to go back at uh, late November around Christmas time. If you want something done, ask a busy person to do it. Yeah, money's not a problem. That's it. So don't, stop sending me stuff in the mail, okay? That's a good start. You know, save your money, babe. I'm ready for the country five steak. My boss was named Senior and I didn't care for it much. You don't like a lot in life, Trog. You're one of those people that the corner of your mouth just naturally turns down. Right? That's the bottom line on that. So we'll get it worked out, which is better coming up. Uh, but I'm definitely looking forward to it. March Madness, baby. I can't get, I can't get hyper excited this year about that. Uh, uh, I'm still getting used to all the realignment of the uh, ACC. Uh, did I see the email today? Uh, which one, honey? I got to check and see. Uh, I did see what you made. I saw your response to what you were making. Is that what you're asking about? So, um, yeah, if you want something done, ask a pretty... Uh, yeah, I probably will stop and... You know, if we're if we're just having breakfast or something, and then just poking around, maybe an hour or so for town, hour or two out of town, then um, yeah, definitely on to. I would probably I stopped in Jamestown before, right? Thursday at work, I just have to do it in the morning. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm throwing out the option of Wednesday too, if you want. If Wednesday works better, your alma mater pit. So, as far as match, March Madness is concerned, I'm doing all the realignment. But if no one wants to do it, we'll do it on Wednesday. So, well, we'll let her decide then. So, it'll be her call. Like the NFL says, you make the call. Right, NFL Films. store was cool yeah jamestown was pretty cool that's where i had the petticoat junction did, have you ever did a dish that didn't come out perfectly i've had uh, audio repairs that didn't come out perfectly uh if i had a dish that didn't come out perfectly let me think back okay here's something very ironic oh hey roxy how are you here's something that's very ironic the first time I made a pineapple upside down cake, I thought, yeah, it's, you know, it's the hell, this, this is easy, right? And then the next two times I made pineapple upside down cakes, they stuck to the, uh, they just, they tasted good, but they were kind of a disaster. So I learned a couple things. Always line your baking pan with uh, wax paper or something first before you put your little pineapple rings and your uh, butter and brown sugar glaze on the bottom and all that. That didn't turn out real well. I'm trying to think if there's anything else that uh, I'm kind of an, I'm an intuitive cook so it's going to be 
I, I, I'm going to say this, and I mean this in the best possible way possible. And please tap the like button if you're coming in. I'm going to say this as nicely as I possibly can. The people that get into trouble are the people that go buy recipes and stuff. Okay, now that's not saying don't use a recipe and you won't get in trouble. I'm saying uh, sometimes doing recipes, you can be a little blinded to a situation that's developing in your cooking or baking. It's, it's going to make a, it's going to be bad or something like that. But if you're an intuitive cook, you're involved in every aspect of, you know how things should feel, you know how things should look. You know, I've baked hundreds of pies and cakes and breads and things on YouTube over the years. And uh, I don't know, hundreds of kitchen stadiums and all that stuff. And after a while, you just develop an intuitive feel for uh, cooking and things. I don't measure spices anymore. I don't do it. I just, I don't do it, right? But the average person probably should. Right? So, I'm trying to think. Uh, the tries for the English muffins. Well, you know, the, the, we're not talking about the easiest thing in the world, so you have the pockets inside of it and all that. I mean, you're talking about just like biscuits can be very challenging. Hey, magical. What a day it is, baby. What a day it is. Uh, I made some funky sourdough bread. Hey, Dr. Frankenstein. Yeah, we're going to make that beef wellington. I have to figure out the proper way to hack job that. To make it really, um, you know, really is, is simple. We made a mock beef wellington before, but a real one. Intuition is critical for a lot of different jobs, right? Uh, you don't have to follow that. Well, you, if you're starting out, you should always follow recipes. But once you bake enough cakes, you know how you can start adjusting things. Do you want a very, do you want a very fine crumb like you have in a wedding cake that's very dense? When you slice that, it's it's very heavy. You know, when you take a piece home you're like wow compared to the average layer cake a wedding cake is very dense right it's a very tight tight crumb therefore you have uh you have a lot of flour to water ratio thank you ted i appreciate that very much ted sent something to paypal thank you or do you want a cake that's light and fluffy like a chiffon cake or something like that it all varies with the with the with the intuitive hand of the baker to be able to pull that off spaghetti with white clam sauce i don't think it's it's it was only last month i had alfredo for the first time ever you got to shake some abado <laughs> really <laughs> be careful what you're shaking over my cake right uh, uh. Uh, but it's, it's fun, it's fun to bake. Yeah, I'm excited too. It's fun, it's very fun to bake. Um, you know, but when you're baking, when you're just living alone, you know, and I, I, you generally give Blackbird everything I cook, but I, it's still a lot to, you know, the only thing I guarantee at Easter time, I will make a big, uh, coconut cake layer cake with cream cheese uh butter frosting on it pounded with coconut that's it uh, yeah i'm excited to see you too naomi i'm excited to see you i'm excited to just even just walk around a little bit or learn a little bit more about about oakdale down there it's just uh, like i said when i went on my central valley excursion it was um Right, it was the only town I passed through that I'm like, wow, this was a mistake not stopping here. So now we're finally gonna remedy remedy that. So it's up to 72 hour weeks. Well, it should you should be able to put a lot of money in your pocket. I don't know. I love coconut cake too, uh, Ted. Absolutely love coconut cake. I'll only make one once a year. But I will, I will make it uh, rich 
and I will make a good squid with red sauce over it. It's good. I mean, you guys eat well, right? I mean, but still growing and going through puberty. That's nice, Carrie class. Uh, last night was good to take a break. I went to um, In and Out. I think the the hamburgers up to three dollars and sixty cents now. When the pandemic began, during the pandemic, it was two dollars and eighty-five cents. So in four years, eh, four years we've gone up what uh, seventy-five cents against three uh, against the start. So. I don't know, 30% increase in four years, I guess. With inflation and all that, it ain't bad. What the hell's this guy doing? I don't know, is this guy going to give me a ticket or what is he doing here? This guy looks menacing. I don't know what we're doing. Are we, are we the new parking core? Are we taking pictures? What's the guy got on his back? Parking service? I don't know what he's doing. We're looking for stuff. I'm at the visitor center. This guy looks threatening. Uh, we're gonna take a picture. It's the guys from Arizona. Let's let's ruin his trip to Santa Rosa and give him a ticket. Why don't we do that? This town is always so gloriously welcoming to people. Right? Yeah, welcome to, uh, he's giving him a nice welcome to California. What? He's giving him a nice welcome to California. Yeah. Thank you to our nice Arizona visitors. This is how we repay you. Yeah. Right? <laughs> well, make it between the lines, dudes. <laughs> is that what they got him for? Or is it because well, he didn't pay to park? I don't know. I don't, is there a meter? Oh, yeah, you have to, to get a ticket. Yeah, you? you have to pay this. Well, not only that, but he didn't make very, it between the lines. Exciting. Huh? Yeah. I don't know. Wouldn't that be funny? It's like they're always complaining people don't come downtown. <laughs> they're giving out tickets like hotcakes <laughs> down here. Take it easy. <laughs> oh, what a chamber of commerce here. Just stay the F away. They ought to put that below the seal of the city of Santa Rosa. Just stay the F away. How about that? Uh, just schlepping around the parking lot. Uh, magic, magical. I'm not sure. We've got a dog across the street. It's going to dump, dump a big turd right there. Now that we're getting into good weather, we're going to be very aggressive with the parking now. That power steering pump sounds bad on that Saturn. That dog's gonna unload. Looks like it didn't pinch it off clean either. It might have some dingleberries on it, I don't know. It is a beautiful sky. Current temperature game time is 74 degrees here. Does it get any better than that? We got the ticket guy walking around taking pictures of all the vehicles unreal what's on the trees what do you mean what's on the trees honey leaves you got to keep an eye on this bird That's mistletoe. Invasive mistletoe. Yeah, you know what I mean, magical. That dog didn't pinch it off clean, right? So it's uh, when it hops up on your bed tonight and starts rubbing its uh, hind on your sheets and everything to try to get clean, right? 
Yeah, well, that's mistletoe. A very invasive weed. Ain't nobody ever kissed it. Black flag is a hospitality flag of whatever that hotel chain is that. The owner has to check and make sure it was pinched off clean, right? I mean, you want the dog up on your couch? I don't know. I've never really been a big farter. Hey, Cobra John. Yeah, I'm not even in 4K. Do you think YouTube's finally up in their game a little bit? Remember the pandemic? They dialed everybody down to 720p. That was their gift to everybody. Here's your... Uh, because everybody was home and they were choking up the bandwidth. So they dialed everybody down to 720p. I don't know if they ever raised it again or not. I don't know. Oh, I like it both ways. The, the portrait stuff, I've got a lot of, I got, you know, not so much from the regular, but I get a lot of positive feedback from new people about uh, the vertical. It just depends. It cuts both ways. So I try to compromise and have, uh, I try to have both. Oh, you got me a 1080? Mistletoe is bad news. Bad news. Uh, that's good. A little high definition. Let me see here. Oh. Yeah, if you have a phone, so you may see, you know, according to. Uh, what YouTube says, 70% of people are on phones now, so, you know, that's why they're pushing towards more people are using smartphones. Smartphones are getting bigger in size. They're getting more massive now, so uh, I guess they're trying to just encourage the trend. So I try to compromise. I try to do, uh, you know, do horizontal and vertical streams. So. I have to try to or I can actually get the channel work right. I know it's not your I know one thing sounds really hard to get on the channel. Yeah, I wonder what's going on. I don't know how to explain that. All right. I wonder if it's your connection or something. Plus I think uh, I think YouTube's being hacked all the time, so I don't know. I'm in the lower thirty percent using my Chrome box. I guess ultimately they think everybody's going to just migrate migrate to phones. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what this bird's doing here. I got to have eyes in the back of my head. I think they're meditating against the wailing wall there. I can't be sure. I can't be absolutely sure. That's me with the backpack on. I have to say, I really like your mohawk. Uh, I really, I like, really like your skull. 
expecting the all cell phone carriers to raise rates. I don't know. Let's just say in 2015, I came on 2016, I came on Verizon's uh, Verizon's unlimited service grandfathered into that and it's it's done well for me it's like I pay a hundred bucks a month and I never really have service issues yeah I wish I had more coverage hey peach but what are you gonna do right sometimes like I'd love to go up to uh, Healdsburg and live stream but I can't get a signal up there so right Should be caps on price. No, I think caps just are a disaster. I think if if things become too, if profit margins get too big, then competition inevitably comes in and kills the goose that lays the golden eggs. So there's nothing like high prices and high profits to bring in competition. I'm very much a free market person. That's right. The cure for high prices is high prices. That's exactly correct. Hello, Tom Taylor from Ipswich. I hope you're doing well. Never underestimate human ingenuity. Right, solar continues to take a bigger bite out of uh, demand for oil. Hey Ronnie, how you doing? worst thing is when the government gets involved that's when shit goes all all wrong So please tap the like button. I think Mohawk Boy is still back here. I don't know. Let's see. There he is. Oh, I got to do it now. The last of the Mohicans. What am I getting involved with? I'm ready. Uh, I'm cute. And he is... Uh, <laughs> Uh. Yeah, I was with T-Mobile in the ancient, in the very early days of mobile streaming on YouTube. I was one of the earliest mobile streamers in 2015, and man, was that challenging going around Oakland in places and getting crappy signal and wow it was really challenging then once I went over to Verizon it was great Senior like me, apparently, a cricket. 
PG and E, PG and F. I don't know. I'm just pretty. I'm just pretty thrilled. I got through the whole winter, and it ain't over yet. I recognize that. But six days or so, I got through the whole winter with that. With with that. With having to put the heat on for two mornings for about a, a half hour each time, and one day till about four o'clock. So that's. I feel pretty happy. I'm surprised they didn't send somebody out to see what happened to the bill. You know, why is this, uh, why did, is this person tapping the neighbor or what they're doing? So last year changed everything over to LEDs. So I'm, I'm down to the bone. There's nothing more I can do. Right? Nothing more I can do. That's about it. All right. We have another $5 increase coming, so. The only way to cure the, uh, uh, the only way to cure that is we have the Public Utilities Commission is an appointed commission that the governor appoints people on the commission, so. What does that mean? It means that the appointments are political in nature. They're payoffs for, uh, you know, being supporters or things like that. Okay. Right, their cronyism for cronies and things like that. The way you cure that is you have the PUC becomes an elected office. Right. In other words, you have to stand for election to get on the PUC. Now, what do you think everybody that was running, anybody that might run for election to the Public Utilities Commission, what do you think that they would do? They tell everybody how aggressive they're going to be at, at uh, keeping rates down, and we're going to push for a rate cut, you know, right? But we don't have that pressure. When you have an appointed committee, there's no pressure. And, uh, well, that's what I'm saying, Kara Class. You're relatively new to the channel, I think. I've had my, uh, you know, up until April, up until january of 2023 anybody that applied for a concealed carry handgun permit in this in this county of sonoma yeah they would take you through the process you could fill out the application you could go through the whole thing and guess what happened to the applications they sat on the sheriff's desk right because the city of santa rosa said we're not going to pro you know We'll let the county go, let the county do the licensing, right? We're not going to get involved with permits. You have to get it through the county. We'll recognize it if you have a permit from the county. Well, what did they do? The sheriff just sat the permit applications on the desk and said, I'm not going to process them for 20 years. So they piled up like that. And finally, the court of appeals said, you know what? You're denying people their second amendment constitutional right. So you have to start processing the uh, processing for the permits, and that's when I my permit went in. So, right, the only people that had it were select judges that were criminal judges, criminal court judges had a license to carry, and uh, a very 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 few select other people were licensed to carry. Otherwise, forget about it. Right. <laughs> YouTube is making improvements on chat. Yeah, I believe it when I see it. I've been teaching the government. We got uh, shall issue. So I was like the first wave of people to come through and get the uh, get the permit. As for how many people are carrying now, I don't know. I don't know. I never disclose if I'm armed or not. Nor will I ever. So that's part of the whole process, Fandango, that's been going on here. So if you want to have better utility rates, and if you want a little bit of control over PG&E or SoCal Edison or, uh, uh, you know, any of the other service providers out there that are regional in nature. And remember, PG&E is the largest service area in the nation, okay? 
Uh, it's going to cost money, and it's going to trees are going to be have storms. You got fires, all that kind of crap. On. But if you want to put pressure on the utilities, you have to have elected office to do that. Just like when sheriffs are appointed, who cares? But if you have to run for office as a sheriff, what are you going to tell people? I'm going to lock all these thugs up. Just elect me and you'll see me clean up the streets of Oakdale. <laughs> Tap the like button if you're coming in. It's very appreciated. All right. That's the way you bring pressure on the public utilities. You make an elected position. Now, I'm sure if you circulated a petition in the state of California that henceforth uh, public utility commission positions as they come vacant will be by election uh, for a four year term or whatever, then you'll really see the fur fly. All right, then you'll see everybody kissing everybody's bum to make that a reality but until that happens it's just rubber stamping all these people are falling on their floor they're all doing the hysterics and dramatics at the public utility commission hearing in sacramento they're tearing their clothing you know they're pulling their hair out they're doing cartwheels on the floor and the uh yeah thanks kelly and there's you know the puc people are just looking at them like Right, I got a dinner date at Mario's in about an hour or so. Uh, when's the floor show going to be over, right? I mean, that's the kind of nonsense that you're dealing with. Delayed, concealed carriage, they must have some pool. I don't know. No, I didn't really get sound. It's just that I was inside all day and then I step out and I don't know what it is. I haven't been outside all day. I just stepped out, so uh, probably hormonal flush, right? Uh, Stan, is really hard to get CCW. Well, you know, these days the courts say you can't deny somebody unless you have cause. In the old days, uh, in the old days, right? They could say that. You have to have cause to have a permit. Now they say you have to have cause to deny someone a permit. All right. In other words, we're not the bad guys. Right. And I don't care what it means. I don't see anybody with a concealed carry permit ever getting into trouble in this county. Ever. All right. Which means that they're pretty intelligent people that have to sit through eight hours of classroom instruction, go on a range and prove that you can handle the weapons, right? <clears throat> That's the deal. Mm. Yeah, I, I never hear of a permit holder get into trouble, right? The ones that cause trouble don't carry permits. They just have illegally purchased firearms, and that's it, so your local sheriff I don't even know who in the hell the sheriff is I'm in the city of Santa Rosa we have our own in this city it's like LAPD they're like the younger brothers of LAPD they'll skull tap you right right but these days cops ain't giving tickets for speeding they're not setting up speed track they're not doing anything man they don't want to get out of their cars our city said if somebody breaks into your house or smashes your car windows and steals something don't call us just file a report online and someone will investigate <laughs> yeah okay is that what we're doing now yeah, that's what we're doing now, so that's it. Only if somebody's life is being threatened will we come to your, come, come to your, uh, 
And even then, it better be a verifiable, provable case, or else we're going to charge you for the call for it. Right. Thus, you should probably have a concealed carry. So I couldn't wait to get one. I think, uh, I do think we have a chaplain, Tony, I believe we do, which rankles to the ACLU to no end out here. No, they're not bodyguards. Society depends on self-policing. That's what makes a civilized society is 98% of the people behave. Once that starts to tip the balance of that, then you've got big problems. So civilization always depends on self-policing. People that aren't speeding 100 miles an hour down streets That's important. That is very important. Oh, why aren't we charging here? What's going on? I'm not even plugged in, really. Let's see here. Uh... Well, it's the trend that it will be going into, unfortunately, it will be happening. can already see uh, we're we're slipping off the edges here of civilization as every year goes by <sighs> people become more and more animal like No, honey, ain't nobody ever going to block you, babe. We're just relaxing. We're just looking around. Well, because why do you think that is, Trog? Why do you think we keep repeating our behavior? It's a very good reason why. It's not evolution. That's a weird blue color. I don't know. I don't know if I like that blue color or not. I haven't quite decided yet. I don't know why people like. Uh, carrying junk around. The reason why history repeats itself is quite simple because human nature never changes. Human nature is no different today than it was 5,000 years ago. People are still inclined towards the capital vices, pride, lust, envy. 
covetousness, anger, sloth, gluttony. Nothing ever changes. As a tree grows, so it is inclined to fall. We haven't come far at all. We've come precious little. Hey, Cindy. We're just having a relaxing afternoon. This is like our kindergarten nap time. It's human nature. <clears throat> People's natures never change. It's the one constant through civilization. It never will change. What are you having, tomatoes? Yeah, where are you getting tomatoes now? I tell it like it is. I tell you exactly how it is. What do you think I've been writing this book about for almost a year? I'm on the fourth writing now. Yeah, I know, Terry. Four more days until you blow that joint. Man, you better have some hella party balloons when you walk out that door. That's a day to party. Well, that's the platinum. That's the big Ford platinum right there. Oh, from a farm. Okay, there you go. That's good, Sandy. B boring black bean. Thank you, Magical. I got to get to bed. Take care, honey. Don't work too hard. I got to get my taxes done. Oh, man. Thank you, honey. Thank you very much. I don't know. I'm really surprised San Antonio would be dangerous down there. I don't know. This is this city is way above the national average in crime.
I've never heard of any crime in Minneapolis at all except for poor taste in fashion. Fashion crimes. Lamb chops and olive oil with tortillas and a hot sauce and a beer. I don't know. I'm not a big lamb eater. Right, Mary? Crimes of fashion taste. You got crimes of passion and you got crimes of fashion. Which is more serious? It's debatable. Thank you, Cindy. Just because I always have a place to come to in the evening. Thank you. We love you, Cindy. Thank you. You're one of us, honey. You fit right in here. Oh man, they're roasting beans. Here's the smell. Oh crap. Pew. Oh, 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 oh. The wind's blowing right in my direction. My goodness. Thank you, Cindy. Love you, sweetie. Uh, yeah, they're roasting. My eyes are burning. I just bought an inverter from another guy. I guess they made a deal here. Oh, this is not, you wouldn't love this smell. This smells like, any, unlike any coffee I've ever smelled roasting before, this smells like turds being roasted with it. Got the whole doggy core in there. What a doggy core, huh? Got the whole crew in there. Dogs like to ride, right? They're like, we want to go walking. Hey, Denise. I don't know, whatever it is, it's terrible. It's like roasted turds. Doggies are happy. It's called the uh, Aroma Roasters. A R O M A, Aroma Roasters. No, I've never tried Texas pecan coffee. I'm just a very plain Jane when it comes to coffee. I don't know what these 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 boys are doing here. They're very well-behaved dogs. They don't make a noise. You wouldn't like this coffee. It's 
It's like roasted turds with a little bit of basil on it. Just a really horrendous smell. Thank goodness it doesn't reach the rancho. What a help, well behaved core of dogs over there, huh? Very cool. to be able to whistle. <coughs> A honey roasted turd. What's up, Jamie? Dogs enjoying the breezes. I haven't heard one of these dogs bark. They're so well behaved. <whistles> Looks like this guy's delivering food. In his truck, no less. Yeah, beautiful day today. be doing uh, food service with the platinum uh, diesel pickup truck that's like a losing proposition Yeah, how are you going to make money doing that? The price people pay these days That's a big payment on that truck, I guarantee you that. 
That is a big payment. That is a big payment. Five dollars down, five dollars when they catch you. That dog looks like it's got a whiz, I don't know. If you make you're just you're just working for the company. You're not making anything for yourself. It's like the most well-behaved core dogs. Most of them are just laying down. looking over at me. Yeah, I think Friday night we'll uh, Friday night we'll do a Petaluma run. How about that, Jamie? Should be very nice weather in Petaluma. the attention. Dog's like, what the hell is that? Dogs, I guess they're tied in the back there.
the doggy hours. <laughs> something very, something very calming about watching the doggies. So I guess I'm gonna plant the. Uh, I think Saturday. I think Friday I'm gonna do all my. I gotta do some work over the church. Then I'm gonna do. Um, one of the heater units isn't working over there, and I'm gonna uh, uh, plant the uh, plant the tree. I'm gonna plant the uh, uh, the cherry tree. I think the government has a lot of uh, crude oil in storage. And enough ready fuel for military uses. I said to Alan Gentry, you're trying to control human nature. To which I always say, good luck. Four. I think that's a good vehicle. Man, this light is long.
what a light, huh? The more refined the petroleum product, the less shelf stable it is. Yeah, it's kind of a pipe dream. Selfishness will always win out. Yeah, it's always been that busy. It's one of the uh, four big major north-south routes through the city. And uh, unfortunately, it's the most constricted one. Plus, this is, uh, you know, it's a city of 200,000 people that are always, uh, always a lot of noise.
a beautiful day. bought a house in this neighborhood. I should have. But it wouldn't be the rancho. How you doing? No crap, I left, uh, I left fuel. I know, two days to your birthday, how exciting. I left fuel in the uh, generator. I'd end up having to put a new carburetor on it. Yeah, the rancho's critical to the whole operation, you know. Been out here in a long time. This is where my girls went to middle school here. many moons ago. Yeah, that was a big mistake leaving fuel and then not running the generator. It's 
So I paid the price for that 29 bucks for a new uh, 29 bucks for a new car. soon Redwood Empire Realty this is the high dollar area I'm not sure. I'll have to see what Friday brings. We're just cruising around. High dollar, man. High dollar. in the high life here man across a fairway. Who's ready to join the country club, huh? see what it's like to pull up in our nice car. That's like high style right there, man. High style. Woo! Fugle clams to hang around here. Now I've never been here with this stream before. Beautiful. Let me know if you did not get my hand. The lady's 
like wearing a $500 pair of sunglasses there. Hey, Shime. She's got it going on, man. All about the country club set. It's Amanda Hug and Kiss Country. Country Club set. Person doesn't like I'm out on a Sunday drive. the country guys we're gonna have the sun in their eyes a little bit longer wrap wine country Be careful, this is a good place to get clipped right here. If anybody's chatting, I can't see the screen because of the sun.
maybe. Just at the country. Looking at the lagoon over there. Fifty thousand, you get to hang around with all the mukti mucks, all the big hitters, man. Where else are you gonna be able to do that? All the big hitters, man. What about that? be doing a mega chooch here. Uh. Oh, shit.
Trash away. All right, I got a little something to drink, a little something to chew on crackers. I didn't really stop to eat lunch today. Uh. I have money, honey. That's what that is. Never gonna get out of here with this guy. Yeah, a lot of clubs require you spend a certain amount of per month. here in a long time. So let's go on a power chooch here. Finish a couple more crackers here. jacket just in case we need we haven't been up here in a couple years We got this. Let's make sure we're charging.
just about underway. I wonder if they still have this hillbilly house up here. Yep, jacket, flashlight. I don't think I need the sunglasses anymore. All right. I wonder what they did with that big hillbilly building down here. Let's go see. Last time this place was really blown out down here. <clears throat> this is like the hillbilly area town. Let's see if anybody's gonna yell at me. Yeah, here it is. Man, that place hasn't changed a bit. Wow. <laughs> Same old, same old. I would have loved to know what this place was. People in Kentucky call it Little West Virginia. People in West Virginia call it Little Kentucky. <clears throat> There's no love lost between Kentucky and West Virginia. It's just weird. I don't know what the heck it was. Right. Oh, Good Samaritan Church? Really? I don't know. This place just looks really unstable, right? Typical California construction. Just slap that crap on top of it. See, it's real hillbilly down here. Ooh. Hope this guy doesn't take a shot at me over here. He 
Here are the chickens. Looks all rotten. Termites did a number on this. This place is super hillbilly. Oh shit, dogs. It's hard to know whose property I'm on. Right? Everything's so rotten. This is the neighbors here. Look at that fencing they put up. person's yard is, I don't know. Got their little gardens like crazy. How quaint. <clears throat> oh, this place has definitely gotten worse. You can see how crappy the construction is. It's a snake pit. Big spiders. Man, that's really down there, isn't it? Yeah, this is the very hillbilly area. Man, this is like Black Widow country here. What did you if a, if a face came up right now? I don't know what this is keeping this shit. This is keeping this closed. 
anybody around me. Sounds like something is moving in there too. That's too creepy for me, man. Wowie, well, well. Yeah, that place has not changed one bit. It's a heck of a waste of land, right? The funny thing is, it's got a good roof on it. The roof is perfect. I'm going to put down spouts on it. Right. Flashed up the new roof and everything. You see that Allen Gentry, all that new roof? All that flashing up there? Hard to say, it's kind of a tough piece of land here. And I don't really know what the land boundary is. It's kind of indeterminate right here. I don't see any, uh, looking to see if there's a demarcation boundary line here. Usually churches are pretty good at marking off their marking off their grounds. This might be the groundskeeper or something up here, I don't know. Looks like the kind of guy that would fit right in with that setup. <laughs> right. Yeah, I would say this, uh, this used to, I don't know. What do you guys think? Yeah, it's just a weird layout. I don't know, like this might have been the house for the pastor or something here. I don't know. Please drop deliveries on porch. Thanks. Zimfer, Zimfer Creek. Hi. <laughs> Z 
See all that new downspout? It's weird. Why would you put that money into it? Right? Can you imagine the termite damage that's been done in there? This lady next door, she's got her battleship gray. Little car there. I was just wondering today, I thought I'm going to drive up there and see if they ever did anything with that. Well, we get a tremendous amount of termite damage out here for most of termites. Asia's gift that keeps on giving. I'm on wide angle here. Mount Olive Lutheran Church. I don't even know if these are active congregations anymore. I have no idea. Got some pretty dappy deals. Yeah, that van's looking good, isn't it? Harlem Knights. Their second raiser, annual fundraiser to offset the cost of their gumdrops, I don't know. Support Sebastopol Senior Day Trip Program. Harlem Knights. Looks like everybody's used to me being nosy. Who were keeping an eye on me. I think they thought I was uh, being nefarious or something. I have one of those suspicious faces.
Yeah, last time I was out of here, they were just starting to work on this building. Renovating this thing. And they still got the uh, roll-offs here. This might be a little too expensive. I don't know if it's the offices or what it is. that window's open there. They're still framing it out inside, which is weird. Alright, well, we got a mega chooch ahead of us, so let's get going. Yeah, it's like they stopped work here. I don't know if they ran out of money or what the heck. Right? Same as it was to me. to make America great again. Looks like they ran out of money. But you can see there's some very tough properties here. They're really big, but the land is very, is kind of difficult here. It's very challenging pieces of land. They had to tear us up and put those steps up there. Yeah, I don't think I've been up here since the pandemic. You got this, yeah, this haunted house back here. Man, can you imagine coming down this hill? That's a big ghost house up there. Looks like a Japanese restaurant here. Got that spook house up on the hill. It's an ill wind that blows no good. And it's a good wind that does blow at all, right?
That's a steep slope back there, Naomi. ONC Chinese Bistro. That's all like Section 8 housing up there or something. This is Sebastopol. We're way up the west end here. I think this place had the outdoor deck here. Lawrence Avenue, this is where all the uh, metal sculptures are there. Grandma's looking at me. I was like, what are you doing? Yield to love. See the way that wall blew out over there? That's a big problem for that person. That's, are uh, you looking at high dollar over there to fix that whole slope? That retaining wall. You're gonna have to block off the street part of it. Oh no, it looks like this place went ticks up, whatever it is. Can you imagine how much wasted that restaurant equipment that there is? They got that huge mixer over there. Stuff costs a fortune, right? This, they had this nice outdoor, right? Looks like it was called Mofos or something. Man, this would have been nice, huh? Sitting out here. These things cost a lot.
Look at that, they left the beer, the, everything right there. You wouldn't think so, but running in these heaters takes quite a bit of money. Twenty-five get twenty-five bucks worth of propane for probably running them at night about a week or so. Oh, this was flavor. One point two million for the white building on the corner. <laughs> yeah, well, welcome to high dollar country. High dollar. They've always had this lift here. Smokes, man, that is really shaky, right? Wow. That thing was bouncing like crazy. It's one way to get around, right? Round, round, get around, I get around, yeah, get around. Wow. Baby needs a little lubrication. Really surprised the thing still works. You gotta be a mountain goat some of the properties.
And you gotta also hope that these slopes don't go. That's the worst aspect of it. You get a lot of rain and these slopes wanna go bye-bye. Georgian dumplings. This is like Georgian food here. But it's not like Atlanta, Georgia, Georgia. It's like the country Georgia in Central Asia over there. Georgian cuisine. Place is crowded. Pomegranate marinated chicken skewers. All these wines from Georgia. It's a way to get, deliver the food. The guy's got the thing on the back of his motorcycle there. Papa Murphy's taking bike. And I helped. Namaste. Indian, Nepalese, and Tibetan cuisine. Probably wouldn't be a big hit in Kentucky. This might be Patricia Wakefield's alter ego company here. Doctor of Dental Surgery. Oh, what a beautiful night outside. 68 degrees. Not a cloud in the sky. What a beautiful night. You know who's a big tipper is Mr. Z's a very heavy tipper. And we're talking like 40%. Yeah, he's extremely, I got to reel the guy in, you know. Like even we had a lousy meal, he's still laying it out there. 
even the rare times we've had a lousy waiter or waitress. He's an absolutely insane tipper. Safeway, since 1926, the safe way to buy groceries. I always think, uh, you know, it used to be 15%, then it went up to 20%. I'm always on the 20%, somewhere around 20, 22%. Sometimes it's extraordinary, I'll take it up. Yeah, I think uh, I'll just, if it's a really extraordinarily bad waitress, I might just give 10%, something like that. So she kind of wonders, yeah, right. Maybe I could do better or something. I don't know. Straighten out this cord for a minute. Look at that sky, isn't that weird, that uh, pattern up there? I wonder what causes that. Weird looking. Well, these days, let's say a waitress is covering like 50% more tables than she probably usually covers. Yeah, I'll be a little more generous, you know, because it's, uh, it's tough sledding. For me, to not leave a tip, it, it just has to really be just totally, so it has to be almost insulting service. Right, almost insulting service. Let's see if we can get across here safely. There's that cool spook house there. Talk about taking up a few floorboards in that place. I'll be on the road at five. I just hang around for a while down there when I get there. No rush.
closed on Tuesday. Yeah, we'll sync it all up. We'll depend on Alan's military training. What a beautiful night tonight. Agent of the Year. Well, we finally got a good cut stretch of weather in Fusion's tea house. Chocolates. Thirty-nine thousand for that. Seven hundred fifty square feet. I was mean mugging me. Veterans ride free every day, baby. Every day. Mean mugging. Mean mugging. Just hearing that makes me want to pee. Everybody's mean mugging. Of course, it was just, it was common courtesy. Let's see if we're going to put you guys on mute.
Wait for this guy to come out. No smoky. Defense du fumaire. Defense du fumaire. All right, that's a relief. We got that taken care of. Daffy Dills are up. Love is in the air. Young lovers. See, do they charge you to park here? No. What did I do, Naomi? I had to thing like this. Yeah, I usually got the uh, using the toilet on a live stream down to a fine art these days. I don't know what ah uh, means. No, not yet. They'll really kick in in uh, June, May and June. No, I just, hey, look, I just put the thing like that. That's it. The 
if you can see anything that way, you got x-ray vision. Right? You got true x-ray vision. We're working late at the print shop. It's like the best weather night we've had in like forever. Art raffle for Gaza. Proceeds to aid a local Palestinian family helping their loved ones in Gaza. I hope so. Or aromatic party topics. It's like, really? I hope we can build in some high pressure for a while. That would really be nice. Have a bit of high pressure. Bring your friends, lovers, and situationships. Six to nine. Walk sign is on. To cross Bodega Avenue. Nice we get the extra light tonight. We're in a man to hug and kiss country. Uh. Yeah, it won't be like what we had. Yeah, the extra light makes it nice. As we roll out the miles tonight. Somebody's got their 
fireplace going. Oh, it gets cold overnight. That temperature be plunging. You better believe it. Yeah, we're going to go down here and then we're going to loop back. Beautiful night. Somebody's fireplace is on. There's a dolphin. Those things are legendary. Toyota engine. They'll go forever. Something going on at the Hop Monk. Hippie's eyes. Good pizza. Well, we never know what kind of signal we're going to get, Queen. It's all up to what uh, Verizon has cooking. But Sebastopol usually has a strong signal. Looks like a quiet night at the funeral parlor. Yeah, we had zero wind here. Usually it's an ill wind that blows no good. It's a quiet night at the funeral parlor. Harmonic Systems Incorporated. Oh, what a beautiful night. I mean, I just can't believe. Oh, wow, they cleaned up all their mess over here at the English Tea Place. Pretty cool. I think we're going to cross over here. Zenful Garden. See if she cleaned up this English tea room place. We have a beautiful time of night right now. Moving from the golden hour to the blue hour. That's what you call a nice tight boxwood right there. Nice magnolia tree.
Yeah, here's the English tea place. They really got rid of a lot of junk here. But I don't know if anybody's gonna wanna sit on rusty chairs and everything. Rosemary. Mm. Gift shop. Muir's Tea Room dot com. The Ghost and Mrs. Muir. Muir's Tea Room dot com. Banshees on bikes. Grateful bagel. Still working away. It's a tough way to hack out a living. I don't think we need to go in the post office and see one of the last pieces of Great Depression art still around. El Favorito, El Taqueria, El Favorito. This is a very good pizza place here. Hippie's eyes. Too funny. Somebody commented the other day, why do you always do that? <laughs> Five L's. Life is like a seed with a shell around it. Too much for me to read. You got to simplify your message. Therapeutic pedicures. You know, it's a how's your meat night tonight. Black cat, any of the anybody on the mat tonight? No. 
Monday night's the men's whining group. Let's see. Let's see. Cryptocurrency education. It looks like uh, we got rid of our men's. Uh, I guess the men had nothing more to complain about. I guess that was it. Women's Circle Sound Bath. Black Hat still is if you drive out Arizona and Kansas, Nebraska, Missouri. That's all you see is gigantic Black Cat firework places. Drives California crazy, right? 63 degrees, still really nice. Here's the Amanda Hug and Kiss bookstore for sale. Looks like they took down the for sale deal. The heartbeat of trees. Oh, I do love a tree. The blue hour is upon us. The blue hour is definitely upon us. Oh yeah, can you imagine people here be so dumb? You have to protect you have to protect people here from their own stupidity, man. They'll light the wrong end of the thing. For sure. Third Pig Bar. That place used to be hot, not anymore. This place needs an ass kicking Western music country kicking heels place. Walk sign is on. And they finally fixed that sign. So for three years it didn't work. I don't know. Opera gems. Do 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 do. Da 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 de do 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 Luminarium. This place won't be around long. 40% off clothing rack. Yeah, this is the beginning of the end right here. 
Mark it. That's the beginning of the end right there. Common sense is uncommon. Let's see who's coming to town. Nagumi Inue gift the soul of gift wrapping. The heck does that mean? Rowan beer beer be, beard. Highly anticipated. <laughs> Dr. Frankenstein, you're all over that, huh? <laughs> that woke Dr. Frankenstein up. He's like, oh yeah, man. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I'm all about that. Right? I'm all about that. All about that. Hello. like a quiet night in soft medicine. Nobody on the couch tonight. Man, it's a little too busy on the wall, isn't it? Who wants to deal with all that mess? I guide you through the quantum field, the Akashic records. I believe we are here on earth to follow our hearts, love ourselves. Isn't that the truth these days? I'm pretty saturated on the psychopath tonight. It is officially the blue hour here. We've got a half moon tonight. Beautiful time of night from the golden hour to the blue hour. I 
All right, we gotta climb back up the hill. Wow, that Safeway truck is still there. Oh, Granger, for the ones who get it done. Granger's expensive stuff, but it's good. Right? They don't, they just, I mean, you're going to pay a premium price, but they don't carry junk. Especially if you're a major corporation, you don't buy at Harbor Freight and places like that. You pay up at Granger, McMaster Car. Ranger for the ones who get it done. It's nice to know I got some nice commercials on here anyway it Depends on your channel size whether they put nice commercials on or Madam Flo psychic reading Harbor Freight's been coming up a lot lately Yeah, snap-on tools are the same way. Snap-on tools stays in business because people steal and snap-on tools. So they're always going to garages. People love snap-on. I mean, when you can buy... When you can sustain yourself as an independent franchisee rolling around in your own truck, those guys tell me it's a darn good living. It's usually the rare garage that the guys can resist buying something. What's up, Peach? We're in the blue hour. Look at that, beautiful.
stranger for the ones who get it done. You guys like Himalayan, Tibetan, Indian food? Yeah, I do like to walk. The more you walk, the more you want to walk. Right? The miles just flow by. Yeah, we got to make some uh, pork fried rice tonight. We got to cut the meat off of the bone. Wow, this Papa Murphy's closes early. Isn't this crazy? It says Monday through Thursday to 8 p.m. Tuesday opera will be online only. Why are they closed so early? This place is very popular for Georgian cuisine. This place does a heck of a business here. I'm not talking about Atlanta, Georgia. I'm talking about Georgia, the country. Birthplace of Joseph Stalin. Georgia wines. Can you imagine that? Mexican place. That girl's got a burrito as big as her head. She's tearing it, ripping that thing a new one. Yeah, walking will keep you going. Keeps the system moving, you know, it's all about it's all about circulation, right? all about circulation Yeah, the average snap-on guy earns a really good living. <clears throat> Hit about 30 shops a day. $100, $200 worth of business per shop. Should we ride the elevator again? The elevator of doom. Look at that beautiful color. I don't know, star, it's mainly drill bits I use. What is this place? Kum Loy. That's a beautiful sunset, isn't it? Well, she may likes the blue hour. I 
go all the way back to the days of Cleveland Twist Drill. And now my favorite is the Milwaukee Titanium. He treated beautiful. Pay a lot of money for him, but I must have five sets of drill bits. You always end up going through the real tiny ones you're going through there. Yeah, this is a beautiful time of night to walk around. Yeah, you get those nice Pacific sunsets. And I'd like being on the Atlantic, you get the sunrise there over the Atlantic Ocean in Ocean City. Well, the dealership should put them on for you. They're investing in goodwill for your next time. If they got half a brain, simple stuff like that matters. But you'd be surprised how many places just lose your number as soon as you're gone. The deal is done. Lose my number. Don't call me. Don't text me. Lose my number. I'm probably going to go look at some Chevrolets. That time I had a sedan. Might be able to rip a good deal. Yeah, don't text me, don't call me, <laughs> lose my number. Cindy, I've, I bet you've done that to a couple boys in your time. Lose my number. Boy, look at this. They put a lot of money into this. Look at this retaining wall. And they stopped working on it. Hawaii and uh, Waikiki had some beautiful sunsets. Uh, especially under the banyan tree. With the uh, Makaha Sons of Ni'ihau playing. Songs of the Islands. Do 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 if ever I wonder if ever I'm far. Do 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 I love these islands, I have and always will. With Gabby Pahanui. I used to get all of those names down properly. Right. Brother Izzy Ivakavaka Voli, Queen Lilio Lukulani. I used to get them all down, man. King Kamehameha Highway. Oh. Yeah, 17 mile drive if you want to pay $35 to go on it now. 
I said I'm gonna give that a hard pass it's like they wanted to charge me to go over and see Big Sur I'm like okay I'll just look at a picture of it online right I was satisfied honey bubbles make you want to feel happy like the birds and the bees in there uh -oh. Get hokey with Don Ho. Ooh, this guy's flying. Woo! Woo! Queen Lilio Nucolani. Lilio Nucolani. Kamehameha. Brother Izzy Kabakabaka Oli. And uh, Makaha Sons of Nihihau. Loved it up there, Highway 1, man, the Pacific Coast Highway. It's all good till it's washed out. Most beautiful place all was the Santa Inez Valley. That's where Michael uh, Jackson had his Neverland Ranch up in there and all that. Santa Inez Mission. Man, is that beautiful. Near Solvang. Beautiful. Please tap the like button if you're coming in tonight. It's very appreciated. Ooh, we got somebody just randomly walking. Okay, there you go, dude. Good thing I got... Uh, 16 candle power headlights, right? Brother Izzy. Yeah, 11.25 is way above. I'm not paying 11. I'm not paying two dollars to go on it. Should be free. It's like city-supported museums when it's short. What the hell are my tax dollars paying for? Right. I don't pay to park and I don't pay to go into those kind of places. Yeah, back in the day, that's right. No, well it is now. I think they incorporated it specifically so that they could charge. I'd rather go, I went to Clint Eastwood's ranch, you can see the video for free. A lot of people have enjoyed, thousands and thousands of people have enjoyed that video. these taxes for state parks and then they want to stick you charge you to go out to Big Sur Clint might have been in residence I'm not sure very nice place not one of these big McMansions very understated 1850s ranch house toll roads I dislike contrived toll roads right it's 
like to see the Hearst Mansion. What does that cost now? I went up and drove up. The guys like we're closed for pandemic and reserve and uh, renovations. So I couldn't get in to see Xanadu. I do remember Patty Hearst. She made life interesting in the 70s. She was a nice looking piece of wool. Liberation Army. Another ill fated knucklehead mission. It's another thing that made me hate the 70s. I like driving across country from San Francisco to on I-70 across. I had one toll, one stinking toll in Wichita, Kansas for like a five mile stretch of road. Other than that, no tolls. Imagine that all the way to Baltimore. 3,000 miles. And unfortunately for them, that toll booth, there was a guy that uh, when Missy Jen and I were coming west, guy fell asleep at the wheel and slammed through that killed took out the whole tow booth well you know somebody paid a price for collecting that toll the Topeka turnpike some kind of nonsense
classic. What does that look like? A 1950 Chevy right there. That's pretty classic looking. Peace. Let's see what our temperature is. 62. Very nice. Our lake is drying up. Good night, Alan. Commence to get started here. Oof.
I need to hydrate myself. Hydra, high and dry. Uh, have some cashews tonight. Well, you can still go out there and get one. <laughs> I heard one tonight. It looked like his power steering was going out. Lots of Saturns around now. I like the Saturns when they came in. I miss Oldsmobile. Imagine if they were still making old 442 to. Yeah, she's been in. Yeah, you probably have to go to a pick and pull. She usually stops in early in the afternoon on her way home. Yeah, the Crown Vic with the big engine. Police pursuit engine. Those things were Rosie? good, Bird. Those things were nice because cops had a lot of metal in front of them in the behind the wheel. Yeah, just enjoying the weather. A nice day today. Yeah. So spring is coming. I hope you have an early one. I think Humboldt County got enough rain. I think we did too.
Yeah, they have a pick and pull up in Windsor. Some days we get that San Francisco log, uh, weather it's all foggy. We call that the June gloom. Burn, June gloom, south swell. Burns burns off around noon or so. In the bay. Yeah, yep. we get it too. It's a trip. Because we're like kind of not humble. Not, oh, we get closer it. Closer to the bay. We get it here. So we get the Bay Area weather and we get humble weather too. We get the June gloom. A lot of CHP use chargers now for their cars, Dodge Chargers. Well, it depends what you're replacing. You know, a pulley wheel or something, that's not going to be a big deal. Rosie, do you ever watch that girl Wonder Hussy? Cause she, yeah. She hasn't been doing that much stuff lately. Mm, once a week or so, maybe. Really? I haven't seen her at all. She did something on Route 66, some... Uh, she had something came out yesterday or something. I like her shirt because she's a girl. She's all about whatever. But yeah, listen, I'm, I'm going to make some pork fried rice tonight. Do you want some? Okay, sure. She lives in Death Valley. So Death yeah. Valley got a lot of rain and like make a little, not a lake, but a little something right there. In the spring, it's going to bloom. You go Death Valley, but then the flowers lay dormant and they come out when the sun. I said that can happen. Yeah, they have a very they have a very short life cycle. They come out quickly, get burned up in the sun. Yeah, yeah. But it, it only turns made, into like a flower power I mean, thing in Death Valley. Can you believe it? I think it's going to happen this year. Uh, all right, let's get set up over here. Oh, well, you know her. Let's go out while her. Let's say hey. Yeah. The problem is, Bird, I'd be bored out of my skull and uh, damn where she is. She likes to get naked and go to the hot springs. We got the yeah, hot springs around be, there. you got to be careful. You don't pick up weird bacteria in those hot springs. That's the problem down there. <clears throat> you got to be really careful of what you're putting your butt into. It's supposed to be healing in the water. Rosie, we would go to this Mongolian restaurant back in the day, and in, in Thai town, kind of. But it's different, and they had this huge walk. Yeah. Yeah. Really yeah. Like, really I've seen them. They're more for show.
got these, uh, remember we did these pork ribs, so we got to get the meat off of these babies. So we got our nice big wok. We'll put our garlic in. I like pre-prepared garlic, it's so easy. I'm kind of intrigued by that uh, Georgian restaurant we went past tonight. See what Georgian food is like. What's up, Charles? We're going to get our meat. Get this off of the bone here. Carefully. Just the pork ribs we had the other night. And I'm fixing to get all the meat off the bones. So we don't waste anything. that right in.
Cats aren't bothering me tonight, so that's nice. the rest of our stuff here. If you can get Pearl River brand, you're getting the original. All right, still the best. Sesame oil, a must. Cayenne pepper, a must. Salts, we need to get brown sugar too. Cold rice, absolutely essential.
brown sugar, black pepper. The reason why your fried rice doesn't taste like restaurants is because you don't use um, brown sugar and you don't use sesame oil, okay? We're going to get this started. This is going to, this onion and, and the garlic is going to flavor up this stuff really well here. Hope we got enough gas left. Shake of cayenne, good shake of black pepper. Sauce always goes last. Soy sauce, sauce is not a cooking agent, it's a finishing agent. Throw that heat up high. Turn that real low, I want to get the camera. What is for dinner in Rancho Kitchen Stadium? Like and subscribe. We're doing a pork fried rice. Stay tuned. For the finished dish. Make sure our spicing is on target. Sesame oil, try to use dragonfly brand. Sugar. 
nice quarter cup. All picking up that beautiful color, man. Can't ruin a walk, it's steel. Ugh. This thing is beautifully finished. Nothing fixed to it. Introduce our first bit of soy. You can use carrots in here too if you want. That is right on. You don't really need to add salt because of the soy. Breaking up the uh, rice. We've got plenty for leftovers, so. What you want to have is good uniform color all the way around, just like that. She goes, that's it. That is it. You see how easy it is to make two. Very easy.
get bird served up some. Very easy to do. There we go. Yum, yum. Yum, yum. his food which I am about to eat so, like they do in China right, instead, of, instead of putting your uh, fork down it's like you take those chopsticks and get them aligned properly right mm. That barbecue rib meat is fantastic. Fantastic for it. Uh, I was kind of dehydrated tonight. Frustration. What's up, Gordon? <clears throat> the one and only <coughs> Gordon Ramsay. <coughs> <coughs> Very easy dish to make too. Like most things in Chinese cuisine, it's very, very fast and very simple. Where do you get good shrimp? Are you gonna do it what? When people are burning down shit, to... <laughs> what are you talking about? What? <laughs> Trying easy. Take that baby right up to your mouth. <laughs> a 
still comfortable tonight outside. What a joy. What a joy. What a joy. This make good breakfast food too. That no, was weird tonight. That outdoor elevator did that thing still work being in the elements and stuff. But it was starting to get a little it was starting to get a little shaky there. Starting to get a little bit shaky. <sighs> starting to get a little bit crazy, a little bit shaky. Patter Moster elevator is. A certain amount of time I feel crap. <laughs> Gordon, Gordon Rams is like, I just want to hit somebody, right? <laughs> that's good. Uh, that's it. Uh, egg is an Americanized fried rice. Sounds pretty weird. You just step on and hope you don't get crushed. Too dangerous. In this country, you'd have people in half. Hey, Dave, I'm not having ramen noodles. need to be in a restaurant yelling <laughs> man that's great I knew I liked you yeah well it must be a lawyer's dream have elevators before the safety breaks. It's a long ride down. Well, it's unusually quiet in the hood tonight, isn't it? Oh, 
one cross two, two steps. Yes. Saga. I haven't seen the cats tonight. I guess they got all fed up. Fed. I would love to scream at Brian. My hood choir too tonight. I guess the thugs are taking the night off. I don't know what it is. Mon Sunday and Monday nights. I expect it, but not on Wednesday night. Right, look at it. This is delicious and I got plenty left over. <sighs> Think young thoughts. No barking tonight. Sell us those one meter chopsticks. Fifteen minutes. So I did get to be a Human condition, honey. Age gets us all.
love these things. Make it so easy. Oh, you're very rocky. We go to bonus round then. Pick one from the rest of the Mr. Lucky. Oh, look at how beautifully seasoned, man. What a great way to use up that pork, huh? What a great way. Welcome back. Got the helicopter overhead. Nobody remembers Mr. Rocky's shot machine. Oh, we go to bonus round now. Pick one appetizer. Pick one soup. a slot machine called Mr. Lucky.
nice to have a well seasoned wok. That is so beautiful. So beautiful. Shot. You're done for tonight, huh? Yep. You're cleaning up. Enjoy. It's a really nice pork fried rice. That's wonderful. I've gotten in a good habit of cleaning up the night before. There we go, guys. That's it. Uh, that, my friends, will do it for me. What did she may discover? Uh, what did she discover? Only later I realized I could get chicken. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> I love Shemay. Anyway, guys, thank you to my wonderful moderators for a very fun time.
uh, this evening. I was I wanted to go back up to that end at Sebastopol, and I did tonight, and it was really cool. So thank you to my moderators for everything that you do. Um, thank you, everybody else, for being here tonight. Carrie et al., Amanda Hagenkiss, Shemay, everybody else. Thank you, thank you, thank you for making this a lot of fun. So I will see you guys tomorrow. I think I got one more video. It was too busy this morning to put it up. Uh, one more video from the range in uh, Vegas. So thank you guys, and I will see you tomorrow. If you haven't hit the thumbs up, if I could impose on you to just take a second to do so, it would be very appreciated. So thank you, everybody. Amanda Hoggenkiss, I hope Oliver is well, and it, I'm glad that you had a good date and everything. So all right, all right everybody. And uh, Michelle, I'm glad, you're, I'm glad your vehicle is working out. You're Chevy.